Good evening and welcome to Zenit News at 8. My name is Leji Daguz. First, the headlines. ASO insists on further strike until demands are met. Plateau residents lament increase in fuel price. International Water Day examining water scarcity in some parts of Jaws. Now, the news in details. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has extended its initial one-month warning strike by two months. This is as federal government and ASU continue to deliberate on the issue until their demands are met. Our correspondent, Kate Yunusa, has the rest of the details. The university premises have remained empty. Students have also deserted their institutions as ASU insists that there's no going back until their demands are met. I am calling on all Nigerians, both students, the public, NLC, all other unions, to join forces. Let's find a way of shutting down this country to make sure that the government does the needful. We must do something now. It is either now or never. And ASU is resolute. We will never go back on this strike until the needful is done. 2023, uh, prepare for top times, Shatima warns Nigerians. On Kemi Filani blog now, uh, we have prepare for tough times, Shatima warns Nigerians. Kashim Shatima, that is the vice presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, has warned Nigerians that there will be tough times in 2023. Shatima stated this at an event organized by APC Professionals Forum with the team dissecting the Asiwaju Manifesto in Abuja on Thursday. The House of Representatives Committee on Diaspora has promised to reintroduce the Diaspora Voting Bill in a bid to accommodate Nigerians living abroad. Chairman of the committee and member representing Oluloye Federal Constituency Tolulope Shadipe stated this on Thursday when the chairman and the chief executive officer of Nigerians in the Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabire Rewa, appeared before the committee. And regarding sports now, we have 16 community teams to participate in the fourth edition of Cohesion Football Tournament. 22 vehicles bombed as troops repel terrorist attack in Borno community. Troops of Operation Hadinke have reportedly repelled an attack by the Islamic State West African Province, that is ISWAP, in Mongono local government area of Borno State. 42% of Nigeria's population do not have access to water. Today's celebration of the World Water Day brings to bear major challenges faced by many, especially here on the plateau in assessing water. In some parts of Plateau State visited by Zenit TV, residents lament the challenges they face in assessing water. Elizabeth Ego has the rest of the details. In Plateau State, the construction of the flyover bridge at British America Junction has caused serious hardship to the people who live around British America Junction, Kian Rikos, Tina Junction, and Guarukuba and Baoshi Road. For constant updates and breaking news, do follow us on Zenit TV at all our social media handles. My name is Leji Dagus. Do enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.